Hello, it's Daniel. Here's a quick video to counter one specific idea that people have. The idea being that nuclear appeasement of Russia is worth it and will work. Let's get right into it. First of all, we will need to assume that Ukrainians will be willing to make heavy concessions for this so-called peace, even though we've been defending against Russia for over 8 years, and according to polls we aren't willing to give up any land. Same thing, though much less justifiably, goes for Russia, since they already formalized the annexation of conquered lands and losing any of them would mean a heavy hit to their pride as a dying empire. So fuck it, let's say we sign the peace agreement that is more or less realistic. Ukraine gets back Kherson and Zaporizhia and Russian troops leave. But Russia gets Donetsk, Luhansk and Crimea as recognized parts of its territory, plus a guarantee from Ukraine that we will not join a defensive alliance like NATO, and also probably some bullshit reassurance that Ukraine has been officially denazified and will not worship Bandera anymore, or something like that. All sanctions in Russia will be lifted, because that's economic warfare. And no reparations will be paid, of course, since Russia didn't lose. The cost of rebuilding Ukraine will fall on Europe and Ukraine itself. It's like Trump's dream of building a wall and having Mexico pay for it. But in this case, Russia blows up your house, shoots your husband, rapes or kidnaps your daughter, and then leaves. And you not only get no justice, you are expected to fix it yourself, while everybody tells you this is fine, because Russia has nukes. Anyway, Ukraine is completely fucked, but this is not the end. Oh no, far from it. With sanctions lifted, Russia's economy will bounce back. Undefeated and progressively more demented, Putin will also use the fact that NATO recently expanded to Finland and Sweden as pretext for investing into better weapons and training, while propping up states like Iran and threatening neighboring countries which didn't support him. In another 5 or 10 years, Russia will come up with a new casus belli to either finish their job in Ukraine or attack some other nation. And once again, since Russia will not be attacking a country that actually matters, like Poland or the United States, we will be told that de-escalation is on us, because Russia has nukes. But this is not the end of it either. Russia's example will embolden other nuclear nations such as North Korea, India and Pakistan to start using their nukes more proactively, instead of just for deterrence. And in a similar way, Ukraine's nuclear disarmament and subsequent partial conquering will further the message to other nations that they need to get their own nukes as soon as possible. Ultimately, it would all lead to much more suffering and a much higher chance of nuclear war in the long run. But of course you can say you doubt Russia will continue being so aggressive after the sanctions are lifted. What if Russia would settle down and would allow itself to become a civilized, western-like nation-state? The answer is the same as to the question, but what if business owners would just pay the fair wages? Do we really need to get rid of capitalism? You cannot come up with foreign policy decisions or economic systems that rely this much on the benevolence of parties that not only heavily benefit from being malevolent, but also have a history of doing that every single time they could. Russia and states like Russia cannot be trusted to do what's best for everyone. Therefore, we must do everything we can to limit their ability to harm any more innocent people. So what do we do? We let Ukraine win the war, while providing them all the tools they need to do so. Russian representatives have recently denied they would use nukes. And even if they did, this would be the end of Russia, since they would be immediately invaded, disarmed and subjugated. Nukes are only valuable as long as they aren't used. You can easily track this by observing privileged western lefties who failed their wisdom checks and have since lost dozens of IQ points because nukes scary. Don't be like them, keep using your brain. Thanks for watching or listening. If you agree with what I'm saying, consider helping this video reach a wider audience by rating, commenting and sharing it with all your numerous friends. You can also subscribe to my channel, because people with bigger sub counts are taken more seriously. And it also gives me a dopamine rush, because I'm a big hairless monkey. See ya.